My name is Dan Levy. I'm an actor, I'm a writer, and I'm a television host. It's a strange thing when you uh, have a parent who is, I guess, in the entertainment industry and that people know. If you think I'm getting you a Mercedes just because you got your license? It's my birthday party. You need to see me in the car to really get the... Dan, can I say something? No, you, you, you can't. My parents made sure that whatever was happening um, on the professional side never bled into my life or never affected what I did, and that's why they never moved me to Los Angeles. I was like putting on plays in my parents' house when I was like five, six. And then you go through high school and there's that moment where you're like, not as cool as I thought, or at least that's what people are telling me. And I sort of got the wind knocked out of my sails. So when it came time to go to university, I wanted to go into theater and pursue acting more, but I chose film production instead because it was safer and I wouldn't have to audition and like, you know, be judged and all of that sort of thing. MTV, I think, came very much by accident. For me, it wasn't even so much the audition. Like, I didn't necessarily want the job, but I wanted to get back into the game because coming from film school, I wasn't feeling inspired. And I knew that there was like a part of me that wanted to perform, it, there always had been. And this was sort of my one opportunity to see whether I had what it takes to even audition. My mom for the longest time had been telling me, it's your first audition, don't get your hopes up, it's fine. Nobody really gets the job on the first audition. Got a call, got the job, told her, Eyes well up with tears, she's now crying. My dad gets emotional. I, as a result, get emotional. It was a very lovely holiday season. I couldn't tell if I was watching an episode of The Hills or an episode of Jerry Springer. Right. No one expected the after show to resonate as much as it did. We worked out of a basement, so we never really knew who was watching. We would show up every day, and Jesse and I and our producer Garrett we wrote the show, we produced the show, we hosted the show. We had a hand in literally every element of what that show was. The Hills comes to an end tonight, and what a love-filled, tearful, bittersweet end it was. It was only until we had the cast of The Hills come to our studio, and someone sort of like ran downstairs and said, there's like 3,500 people outside that we really thought to ourselves, um, I, I guess people are watching? I have no idea. I think to a fault, I feel passionate about everything. And I think I might need um, a sedative from time to time. <laughs> when everything about the entertainment industry or TV or film is like forward moving, forward moving, forward moving, and it's only once you sort of sit down for a second and look back and I forgot that I had ran with the Olympic torch. Like that's not something you should ever forget. Fearlessness would be not caring about what people think, not caring about certain consequences. I am an extremely fearful person. I'm fearful in this interview. I'm fearful when I walk out of this interview. Humility to me is the most important element of being a person. And without it, you're, you are someone I do not want to be at a cocktail party with.